three important skills that you need to do as a real estate agent to improve your conversion. What's going on everyone? It's Russ Mortlock here with the Apex Group. Going over some very important material today on how you can actually improve your conversion by just developing these three skills a bit more. For all the people that have been watching my content for a while and wanting to get mentored by me one-on-one -on -one and would love to partner with what me and my team are doing, go in the description below. There's gonna be a link down there directly to my calendar. We can go over everything in detail to see if you're gonna be a right fit to align with our team. Primarily, this is for people that are doing around 10 transactions a year already and are looking to get to 20 to 30 transactions a year. So what I'm gonna be covering today can be really the difference from you connecting and building trust with clients that ultimately is gonna to lead to you converting more. I know a lot of people are in the assumption that we need more leads, more leads, more leads, when really when you just break down the numbers, if you take your conversion on leads from 1% to 2%, that just means that you've totally doubled your business by just, just adding more skills to your tool belt as a real estate agent. And this is one of the biggest things that I think experienced agents lack is they get into the business and they don't ever build up on their skills. They never actually try to improve the skills that I'm gonna be sharing today. And this can be the secret sauce that's gonna to lead to you doubling your business. Skill number one, and that's going to be active listening. So there's a ton of videos on YouTube that you can watch that are gonna dive into more on how to be a good active listener or there is some books that you can read in order to become better at this skill. But one thing I really like to do is called mirroring. So I mirror whoever I'm talking to, their body language, I repeat their words back to them, what they say, and this really shows that you're paying attention. I'm sure everyone's had that conversation with someone where they just blabber on, blabber on, blabber on, and you never actually quite felt like you were listened to, where if you're mirroring and paying attention and doing active listening, you can make sure that you're understanding everything that your prospects said. And I've personally had failures at doing this when I've gone on big, massive listing appointments for $5 million plus homes and we ended up losing out on these deals because I was a little bit nervous and I wasn't active listing as much as I normally do on listing presentations. So I missed a few cues on what this client was deeming very important with selling his home, which ended up leading to the competition getting it. And that's one of the most important things that I want to differentiate myself from any other real estate coach out here is everything that I'm going to be teaching is battle tested and I'm not just trying to give you fluff and I'll share where I've personally failed and not implementing what I'm speaking to has led to me not actually having success. So active listing, you gotta tell yourself that every single time you go into an appointment, that you just gotta to listen to what they're said, let them finish their conversation, and then jump in when it's your time to do and repeat what they're saying. Number two, this is a skill that I'm gonna be pounding down your guys' throat because I think it's so important and I've never seen any other real estate coach talk about this. And that is the art of storytelling to build trust and to build authority in your real estate business. And storytelling goes back to the dawn of time. I'm sure everyone has watched a really good movie and when it just emotionally connects with you because the story outline is so good. That is essentially what we're pitching, almost the hero's journey. Your Frodo Baggins on this journey with his team trying to destroy the ring. You wanna pitch stories in your real estate journey, how you help people similar to the clients you're trying to serve and share everything that you guys had to overcome to achieve these goals. Don't just tell the end result and just get right to the point. That's the whole framework of storytelling that's really gonna connect you to the clients is you talk about the whole entire journey, all the adversity, every single detail that you guys faced during that transaction and how it led to them getting the exact outcome that they're looking to do. When I've implemented this into my business, especially on listing appointments, we always beat out the competition when we are going up against other agents. And I got a plug in Alex Hermosi because I took this from his sales training, implementing storytelling in your real estate business. For all the people that want to up their sales skills and actually work on everything that I'm talking about here in this video, well, you're going to want to join the Apex Group. So make a comment down below that you want access to the Apex Group, and I'll send you the link so you can join the community with other top agents that are going to be teaching you exactly what they're doing to build their business. And skill number three is develop those confidence muscles. And I'm sure everyone who's watched my videos already heard me say that confidence is a muscle that you need to work on. It doesn't just come naturally. People who do seem like they're very confident, they're doing things behind the scenes to make themselves confident. 
And the best thing that you can do to build that confidence is practice. So if you're nervous about certain appointments, role play with someone, know what objections you're gonna face. That builds your confidence so you're not worrying before you go into appointment and you seem extremely nervous and just kind of off because you're thinking of what to say every single time. And confidence leads to you being able to listen better and then be able to tell stories on how you're gonna achieve success for each one of your clients. Another thing that I personally believe really helps with confidence is the internal story that you tell yourself. And this is something that's probably not being talked about enough in terms of building confidence is whenever that internal conversation of what you say you're going to do and you don't actually do it just brings down your spirit. So if you wanna build confidence, start with the internal conversation. Everything you say that you're gonna do, you end up doing it. Building that internal integrity just absolutely boosts your self-esteem and your confidence. So examples of this being, if you say you're gonna wake up at 4 a.m., you're gonna do an hour at the gym, and then you're gonna come home, you're gonna shower, and you're gonna do an hour of role playing before anyone else gets up. So by eight o'clock, you're ready to hit your calls, and you know when you go to do those calls that you've already worked out, you've already you've already practiced every objection, every scenario, you're gonna have massive confidence to go into those calls and swagger. Um, so this is one thing that people really need to lean on or when you're just not feeling good. I always believe when you're down in the dumps and not feeling well, me personally, I go through ebbs and flows of where I'm mentally feeling not 100% and I always go back to doing hard shit. So that's either I'm going on a hard run, I'm going to do a hard workout. Physical exercise is typically where I get my medicine from when I need to build my self-confidence. And if you're getting a lot of value from my content here, but you wanna take it a step further, and you wanna actually increase your sales, well, you're gonna to wanna to join the Apex groups. Make a comment down below that you would like to join the community and I'll send you the link so you have access to seeing what other top agents are doing in order to build their real estate business. Then for the people that are doing around 10 transactions a year, but are wanting to hit that 20, 30 transaction mark each and every year, we have a business plan that is so robust that I can guarantee is gonna allow you to do that if you implement it step by step. So for those people, you'd wanna partner with us to make sure that you're able to double and triple your annual sales this year right now. So if that's something you're interested in, go in the description below. There's gonna be a link to my calendar and I look forward to unpacking to see if you're a right fit to join our team.